Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video with me, John. Today I'm going to be doing a bowl of ramen review. You know, it's one of my favorite things to do. And this one is an interesting variant on a very popular ramen, and that is the Nongshim Shin Black. I'm going to fold it in half so I don't drip condensation near my camera. The, the, the Nongshim Shin Black, but what's different from this is uh, it has tofu in it and kimchi. And I'm not sure if that's what the Korean characters on the front of this is actually saying, or if that just says like the bone broth that it typically says right there. But this variant is different in that it contains tofu and kimchi as an added ingredient. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. Here is one of the tofu blobs. I'm going to put my napkin right there. That way if it drips, it drips on the napkin. There you go. There's a bunch of these. They're little cubes. They looked like they were freeze-dried before, and then the water uh, rehydrated them. And then we also have pieces of kimchi, like that. The base for the soup is the regular shin black base, which a lot of people like. It is pretty spicy. I'm gonna just have a sip of the soup. <clears throat> there are a, a few groups, uh, Facebook groups that I'm involved in. Well, involved in as I'm a member of a Facebook group. Um, not like an admin or anything like that. But uh, a lot of people post about Shin Black. And there's a lot of people that are like, oh, it's too spicy for me. If Shin Black is too spicy for you, then uh, it's pretty weak sauce. I'm going to go ahead and try one of these pieces of tofu. It's very soft. It has a texture of a like a silky tofu, kind of like you would get in like a, a miso soup. Just pressing it with your tongue, right through your mouth, just disintegrates it, but in like a creamy way. Find that piece of kimchi. Kimchi is usually pretty tasty. In the re uh, rehydrated kimchi that I've had before, they always man manage to keep a bit of crunch to them. I think that's just because cabbage has a lot of fiber to it. So you're going to get a good amount of crunch just from the fiber alone. Alright, let me take a good bite of these noodles. Yeah, like I said, this is this is just shin black with the addition of tofu and kimchi. And those two additions, I like. The uh, the tofu, like I said, it's not real tough. It's not like that firm tofu. It's soft. You bite through it very easy. It's creamy. And the kimchi has a nice crisp to it as well. But 
I will say, I wish I had more of those two things. More tofu, more kimchi. Now, I don't have any tofu, but I do have some kimchi. I made this kimchi. This is homemade kimchi made by me. And I'm gonna eat some right now. I really like the kimchi I made. It has a, a really funkiness to it. Um, I took a, this pack of dried shrimp and I basically pulverized it in a, in a blender until it was like a powder. And that was it. that's part of what's in here. It gives it a, a rich umami flavor as well to the funkiness. Um, to spice it up, I used a gochugang, and this has both uh, Korean radish as well as Korean cabbage. When it comes to kimchi, most people always think of the cabbage part, the radish part. Equally as important. The radish chunks just, I think they soak up more. They have a different type of crunch than the cabbage does. Put a little bit of the kimchi juice in there too. Because it's just isn't spicy enough. It needs more spice. It's definitely not as spicy as the uh, the bulldog kimchi that I purchased and reviewed a while ago. Not the bulldog kimchi ramen, but bulldog, they actually have a little tin of kimchi that you can get, and that's really spicy stuff. Let's go ahead and have some. Perfect. It's got like a funky sour, umami, and spice. All with a nice crunch. I'm going to enjoy this, but I wanted to share this review with you. This is the Nongshim Shin Black with Tofu and Kimchi edition in the bowl itself. I like it. Uh, like I said, the, the soup base is just Shin Black, which is usually a very popular, tasty ramen. It's got a good amount of spice. Not too spicy. And with the addition, especially the tofu, I really like the creaminess of the tofu in here. And the crunchiness of the kimchi adds a little bit more textures, a little bit more of experience than just straight up shin black. I'm going to go ahead and give this product a 8.4 out of 10. There you have it. That's the review. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more uh, ramen videos. Um, I'm continually to do my live streams with the Minraku Bowls. Uh, I also have in my cabinet right now another, uh, it's actually two bowls technically of the same thing. Uh, they're uh, both the import and the US version of the Chapaguri. You know, it's the combination of 
nigiri, and chapagetti, but they have put it into one bowl instead of having to mix two. Um, there's slight differences between the import and the US version, which I'd like to point out in that video, and that will come out at some point. It's not uh, it's not something that I need to go out and get. I have it. It's not going to go bad anytime soon. So I have it. It'll come out at some point. This is just a little teaser. And uh, I think that's it. I'm just rambling. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Hope you liked it. See you later. Bye.